they make the face really well big. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Goma B. I'm so happy to have you watch this video. Today, I'm going to be talking about are uh, academic degrees really worth it so i have a background of academic studies i did geography at a university and when i went up to do masters one i went in the same direction to physical geography and at one point i did a professional degree and masters in tourism and cartography and yeah, I understand there's a huge difference between academic studies and professional studies. There's a huge difference. And the moment you come up to somebody with an academic degree, even if it's really important or not, somebody is always like, mm, maybe you don't have anything to offer, especially when it comes to employers. So a lot of people, especially in my country, Cameroon, if you're a Cameroonian, watching this video you know how it is when you've gone to either Nguaikele, Boya, Sua, uh, Bamenda or any of those universities even in the north and you, you study history, you study geography, you study uh, physics, biology, those kind of subjects. How do you think of a career First things first, we are so many of us studying those subjects. Like, there are so many people. <laughs> when you get into level one, people are like more than a thousand. Some departments are getting close to 2,000 students. And each year is the same thing. That same number passes out. That same number moves to the next level. And you ask yourself, we all have the same skill. We have the same knowledge. How do i differentiate myself from the others how do i make a difference how do i go say okay i studied geography i need a job employ me and another person is screaming the same thing and you know it's complicated so yeah we get to ask ourselves the question is having an academic degree really worth it does it does it help you in any way to go say i'm going to university to study history or geography or anthropology or any of those degrees so i have a few points here i wrote them down i'm just going to go through those points to give you the advantages and the disadvantages of an, of an academic degree that's the pros and the cons so the first advantage i want to highlight here is that uh, academic degrees make you knowledgeable of course they give you a lot of knowledge especially about the field that you're studying if it is geography you get general knowledge you get a lot of knowledge you study a lot of things and it also gives you a lot of knowledge about life in general because you have these professors or, or lecturers who have certain experiences and they can always relate that knowledge to real life or to make you understand certain things so it gives you a lot of general knowledge those who study university uh, 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 students in the academic sector or section have real knowledge about certain things. They are quite knowledgeable. So it gives you a lot of general knowledge. Like the first point, it gives you an overview of life. It gives you a general view of life. You see life as it is. professional so you do not really learn a skill and it makes it difficult for you to get a job at the end of your training so or let me not call it training of your studies so when you do you study and at the end you do not really have a specific skill that you learn you do not really have something specific a specific kind of knowledge that you can come out and apply directly in something really professional one other major thing is that academic degrees are vague they are not really specific you get more and more specific when you study and go higher but in general they are very vague like geography from level one to three we do everything all the different types of geography physical human and everything i think it's in level three that we specialize so it's <coughs> if not level three i think masters 
so it is quite vague you study everything and yeah when it's vague it's difficult to master everything very well so it doesn't put you also in a very but it gives you a general knowledge and you can actually work well when it comes to general facts when it comes to jobs that you can do with an academic degree they are very limited as well uh, and I think the things that you can do that every one with an academic degree can do is blogging youtubing <laughs> or maybe open a business those are the things that everyone can do but when it comes to being specific to the domain which you like if it's geography or history or whatsoever biology it's really difficult to have something when you come out with that degree so uh, but I wrote a blog post on this on uh, 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 making a career with your academic degree and I try to do some research to find out what jobs you can do with certain academic degree I did some for history geography language subjects if you want to check that out I'm going to put the link to that blog post in my description box you can go there and check in the description section the link is going to be there um, moving on what can you do what are the alternatives when you have an academic degree the first thing and I think the main thing that many people do is to add knowledge to what they already have you can do that by maybe going higher in your studies maybe if you are at the degree first degree or bachelor's degree level you can go to a master's or to a doctorate degree and you can also look for another field which you can study to add to the knowledge which you already have maybe a related field and it all depends on which on what you want to do uh, and which other knowledge you need to add to what you already have so when it comes to that you have to think if I want to do this thing which other knowledge do I need to add to the one I already have like my degree in, in, in history geography or, 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 or which other one what other knowledge or English or French or Spanish what other knowledge do I need to add to this to become or to get what I want so that's the question you should be asking yourself and that's how you should approach it so for the alternatives that's basically it and another alternative is which is really good is to do internships find internships uh, find uh, volunteer opportunities you can find an opportunity to volunteer it gives you more knowledge in a professional way so that is the best one of the best ways it's true that it's not easy to find those opportunities in Cameroon but you just have to find a way to find uh, something in that sense because that's what is really going to build your professional capacity and make your academic degree worth it so guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful if you are having any issues with your academic degree or have any questions you can leave them in the comment section and let's just keep the conversation going what are the challenges you face as someone who has studied uh, these academic subjects and someone who has this kind of background what did you do to become better what did you switch to or did you stay in your domain and how did you build your career so let's talk it will help other people out there who have all those questions and really want to find answers to them so thank you again for watching this video thank you so much and subscribe if you haven't this is december 2019 i'm going to do my best to publish or to post a video almost daily that's my like daily that is my wish i hope that you will enjoy the videos to come and thank you guys give this video a thumbs up if you really love it if you love it or you really love it give it a thumbs up i'll be really grateful uh and subscribe don't forget to subscribe see you in my next one bye